Okay, so let's uh, go about changing a user password. Changing a user password will give it its own separate component and we'll create two functions in there, that of being able to change the password as an administrator or being able to send out, say, a reset link for that particular user. Okay, so we'll get right into it here. I'm going to close out a bunch of these items here, basically everything to the right of our main users management dashboard component. And let's add a uh, change, oops, change user password component in here. And down here, let's say v dash. So first of all, v dash if there is, um, if user is not equal to null and if uh, active dot change password is true, then we want to show this. We're going to bind the user to, to this one. Close the user and then we'll say v on view dashboard. So just like we had up above, equals set active. And we want to say dashboard. Okay. The other one we want to say is view dash on. Uh, two, two other listeners we want to send, like maybe one would be a sent, successfully sent reset link and uh, successfully updated password. So let's just say, um, updated password uh, equals uh, flash success and reload and then the event will carry the message otherwise v on equals um, sent reset Success and reload. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so that's good so far. Now we need to actually bring in this particular component. So we haven't made it yet, but we'll say change user password. And I'm going to go ahead and in here we'll put it in the same directory. Change user password on view. Template. We'll add some uh, our card classes in here, just like we had on the other ones. Body. Uh, in our H3 title, we can put a button in here. BTN dot BTN dash uh, outline. Oops. dash primary and btn dash sm um, and then we want to give it a little margin right of three as we have in all of the other ones and it looks like I made a little mistake okay there we go and we'll do i dot fas dot fa dash chevron dash left and then next to this one we'll type in back we'll Basically, when it's clicked, we'll say emit view dashboard. Okay, we should be good there for that. Now let's put the title in here, which we'll just say, let's clean up our view a little bit. Uh, I don't like scrolling left or right. I imagine you might be the same way. Okay, let's complete our title here, which is going to be uh, change user password. And we'll put a class in here of small dash text dash muted. And then in there, we'll just put uh, user dot name. Okay, now down here in our, we can create our script tag again. And a lot of this is probably starting to to seem familiar to you because we've done the same thing over probably you know three or four times now so you can probably guess what I'm going to add already and if so like feel free to jump in do it yourself see if you see if you got it right so data okay so first of all for the form itself I'm going to need a 
uh, password. I don't, I'll send it through as data, actually. Data password. And that's going to be empty for now. And confirm password is also going to be empty. And let's bring in our prop, which the only prop we really need to bring in right now is our user prop. And we'll have to add some methods here after, but I'm not going to worry about it right this second. Let's go back to our user management dashboard. Let's finish importing this. And so we'll say change user password dot view. And let's say change user password here. And active dot change password. So we need to add that in here. And if we want to change the user's password, then we'll have to create a method uh, to do so. So after edit user, btn-small.btn-secondary. So we'll give it a gray color, basically. And we'll put a title in here, and that'll be uh, change user password. Great. Okay, and then we'll say i dot fas dot fa dash um, key in this case because the password is a key, and we'll say at click equals change password, and we'll pass through user in there so we can actually assign it to our user value. Now come back down here, delete user, edit user. Okay, so change password function parameter is user and we'll we'll assign user to the value of user that's been passed through as the parameter and we'll say this dot set active is going to equal what is it going to equal again change password okay change password in there okay let's see how this works for us We'll see if we got it right on the first shot without uh, any issues. There's, okay. Great. Okay, so we're brought over to that one. We'll go back. No problem. Hard to track in there. Okay. Great. So let's go and we'll continue building out our form. And then uh, in the next section, uh, after we build out our form, what we'll do is we'll set up our routes just as we've done before with the other actions that we've taken on here. So dot form dash group. Now this one's fairly easy um, because it's just two items, right? We're gonna have the password one. So label dot column dash three, and this is gonna be password and dot uh, column dash nine input type equals password. And then we want to v dash model is going to equal data dot password and then we want to add a form dash control value in there uh, again form dash group dot row uh, label column three and I don't need to do that uh, we'll say confirm password and dot column dash nine Again, we'll do an input, and the type is going to equal password, so it's blurred out when we enter it in. And the v-model is going to equal data.confirm password in there. And then we need to do um, uh, form.form-control, so we need the class brought in as well. Okay, how are we looking there? Okay, so far so good. Let's add our button in here. And we'll say, I'm going to say update password, update password, and let's at click dot prevent uh, update, oops, password. We'll create that method down here. So now we're moving pretty fast, right? Update password function no parameters to pass through there so that's fine but we'll console log 
this dot data to make sure the data is actually functioning as it should. And one other thing I want to add up here in the header tag is just I'm going to float right a uh, a button. Um, dash small and pretend dash outline dash primary. And this one will just say um, send reset link. Okay, great. And let's actually do at click dot prevent equals uh, all right, send reset link. And we'll create that method down here. Reset link function. And I'll just we'll just console the log of you know sent reset link. Okay. Let's check out our functionality. And if all is good, then we can just move on to the next video where we set up our request and all of that to do so. So I'll open up the console. Okay, let's see if the data stuff came through. Great, great, no value in there. Put value in there like this. Let's update that again. Uh, great, great, okay, that all worked out. Send reset link, sent reset link. Maybe a little bit hard to see there, but uh, it is there. Uh, let me see. No. Okay. Okay. So that's great. Uh, um, there you go. Now you can see that sent reset link. Okay, that's good. I just want to float that off to the right, and then we'll move on to uh, the next video. So in classes, float right. Let's see how this looks now. Change password. Okay, one other thing. Uh, let's add a horizontal rule in there, and that should take care of all of our, our spacings and everything. Okay, great. So I'm, I'm satisfied with how that looks uh, and how all that goes down.